and welcome to swapping my screen time with reading time. I've done one of these videos before and it was so fun to do. I wonder where my average screen time was in that video. Okay, interesting. My average screen time in that video was three hours and 16 minutes. And in the past week, my average screen time was three hours and 26 minutes. So about the same, your girl's consistent. So how this works is I screenshotted my average screen time last week per day. So I'm gonna be following that per day. So today is Monday. Last week on Monday, I spent two hours and nine minutes on my phone, which is crazy. I feel like that is really low. Like some of you guys were commenting on my last screen time video that y'all's average screen time is like six, seven, eight hours. That's a lot. I I mean, no judgment, but that's a lot. So I'm low-key really proud of myself. So we're starting off today light and easy, but don't worry, it's gonna get harder. It's gonna get a lot because last Tuesday I spent six hours and seven minutes on my phone. Some days I'm gonna be reading a little bit. Some days I'm gonna be reading a lot of it. And today I currently am reading Reminders of Him. I have a little over a hundred pages left, I think. So hopefully I can finish this book today and then we can start a new book tomorrow. And then I pulled some other books that I could read this week. I'm very curious how many books I'm going to get through this week. I have absolutely no idea, but I'll walk you guys through what I pulled. The Spanish Love Deception, which is so popular and I can't believe I haven't read it yet. The Selection, I kind of want to read this book this week because I feel like it's something a little bit different. I've also got Boy Meets Boy, which is an MM romance and it is less than 200 pages. So I also feel like this one could be a good one to read this week since it'll be like super easy. Then I also got Him by Serena Bowen and Al Kennedy. This is also an MM romance and it's a hockey romance. Love me sports romance. And then also Funny You Should Ask, which is a romance between a journalist and a famous actor. But yeah, that's the books I pulled. And with that, I'm gonna go sit in my reading chair and finish reminders of him. If any of you guys are not familiar with Reminders of Him, it's by Colleen Hoover and it's about a girl named Kenna who serves five years in prison and the book starts when she just gets out of prison and she actually has a daughter and she's hoping to reunite with her daughter but the people in her daughter's life are determined to shut her out except for one guy named Ledger who is a local bar owner. So far, I really like the book. I don't know that I've like super bonded with Kenna as a character yet, but I feel like once we get the full story of why she went to prison, then that will help me like get to know her character so much better. It's made of diamonds and gold. Oh wow, okay, I just finished page 256 and we just found out the full story of why Kenan went to prison for five years and that was heavy. That was a lot, but it honestly shed so much light on what happened that night that sent her to prison and I feel like I like her so much more. Oh my gosh, I am tearing up and this is like not the part I thought I would tear up at. The last time I updated you guys, I had just read such a heavy section and now on page 270, Kenna is just like laughing and she seems so happy and I feel like she's been having such a hard time the whole book and the way I'm like crying at her being happy because I'm just so happy that she's happy. Oh my gosh, I... <laughs> Colleen Hoover, always making me cry. I like never happy cry, but I feel like this is like a sentimental cry. I'm so happy that she's happy and so sad for everything that she's been through. She deserves so much happiness. Okay, sorry, I'm in my feels, but I'm gonna keep reading. Find the ends of the earth, this money I've made is not worth Okay, I just hit two hours and nine minutes, so I'm stopping the timer. I only have 12 pages left, so I think I'm gonna finish the book and then officially stop for today. Okay, I just finished the book. I really liked it, it was so good. I would give it 4.5 stars. Oh, I wasn't sure like how we were gonna get to a happy ending, but I'm so glad that the ending made my heart so warm and happy. I just care about Kenna so much and I love her and Ledger so, so much as well. And I love that Colleen Hoover in a lot of her books, but especially in this book, writes about characters that appear so morally gray at first. Like no one is black and white good or bad. I don't know. I feel like her books just always have so much depth and her characters always have so much depth and I love them so much. Okay, that is all the reading today. Again, today was a light day, but tomorrow I've got six plus hours of reading. Now that I'm done reading, I'm gonna do some editing for the rest of the day. And I recently started wearing blue light glasses when I'm on my computer and a pair I wear is the sponsor of today's video video. The absolute coolest thing I've ever seen from a glasses company ever is that you can switch up your glasses 
with top frames. Like what the heck? That is so cool. I love that I can change my glasses look with my style every single day. To purchase my glasses, I went to pareyewear.com and ordered blue light glasses for the base frame because I don't wear prescription glasses, but they also have prescription glasses, of course. And then I bought three top frames, two of which are non-prescription and one of which is sunglasses. They also have so many cool other designs like sparkly glasses. They have Harry Potter glasses and also simple sophisticated frames. Let me show you guys my sunglasses. Eee! Now I'm ready to go in the sun. You can get prescription glasses for only $60 and start switching up your style with top frames starting at $25. Click the link in my description and use my code justally 15 to get 15% off your order. Plus it came with the cutest case that holds your glasses in the back and your toppers in the front. So whether you're looking for prescription glasses, blue light glasses or sunglasses, make sure to click the link in my description and check out Pear Eyewear. All right, and with that, I'm gonna get to work on my laptop and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more reading. Good morning. I'm just gonna talk to you guys while I finish getting ready, but today is a long one. I got over six hours of reading today and I'm starting a new book. Whatever book I start, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it today because I'm a slow reader. I think that I'm gonna go with The Selection. I haven't read a dystopian book in so, so long. So I don't know, I'm just feeling it. And so many of you guys have talked this book up to me. So I feel like it's gonna be really good. I just started annotating recently for the first time and I don't annotate every book. I don't know, it just kind of depends what I'm feeling because sometimes I just wanna read and sometimes I'm gonna just write all my thoughts, you know? I don't know, it's kind of random. I was thinking that it would be really fun when I hit like 75K or 100K to do a book giveaway where I give away books that I've annotated so you can get a copy of your favorite book from me and read all of my thoughts from when I first read the book. So follow me on Instagram. That's where I will be like doing the giveaway whenever I reach whatever amount of followers. Okay, today we've got six hours and seven minutes and I'm starting the clock in three, two, one. I completely forgot I'm annotating, hang on. I annotate super simple, just highlighter and pen, and I highlight my favorite quotes. And then with pen, I just underline things that I think are important, and then I like just write my thoughts in the margin. So very simple, that is how I annotate. I just finished page 37, and so far I really like the book. It's interesting reading like a dystopian novel, like how different their times are. They have this caste system that you're just born into. So if you're high up on the caste system, you're doing well. Obviously if you're at the bottom, then you're not doing good. The main character, America, is in love with this guy named Aspen, and he seems so sweet. I like him so much, but he's a caste below her, so they have to have their relationship be a secret. And I'm really curious because I'm assuming, based on the summary, that she's going to get selected for the selection selection and the selection is basically 35 girls competing to win the heart of the prince. So if she goes into the selection, is she going to end up falling for the prince or will she still be in love with Aspen? I just hit page 100 and I am two hours and 25 minutes in. And so far I really like the book. America got selected for the selection, of course. It's like literally in the summary. And I feel like this book would be the coolest movie because America is like whisked away to the castle to like compete with all the other girls and it's all being televised and it's like very extravagant. Oh my gosh, wait, this book is kind of like Hunger Games except they're competing for love instead of competing to death. So a little different, but kind of similar. I'm on page 118 and America just met the prince for the first time and she really spoke her mind to him despite him being royalty and I love that. I just love her so much. There are so many girls in this competition who just want to like win at all costs just to be royalty and like she really is just like staying true to herself. She's just like so not afraid to stand up for herself and speak her mind and I love that about her. I just hit six hours and seven minutes, so I'm stopping the timer. I made it to page 249, and the book is so good so far. America and the Prince are so cute. Things haven't really gotten romantic between them yet, but they're just so adorable together. I love the Prince so much, and their like banter is so good. I'm really curious, since this book is a part of a series, if it's gonna end on a cliffhanger or if everything will be wrapped up. I'm gonna stop reading for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow to finish this book and then start a new one.
Oh my gosh. Hello and welcome to day three. I just went to the gym and showered, so I thought it'd be nice to do some relaxing reading before bed because we only have two hours and 27 minutes of reading today. The next two days we have over four hours, but today is another light day. And yeah, I just, I love reading before bed. That's when I read the most. I'm so curious, like when do you guys read the most? During the day, after school, if you're in school, like on the weekends, like when is like your favorite reading time? I love reading like an hour or two before going to bed. I feel like it's so calming. <laughs> Okay, I just hit one hour in, so we are halfway done for today. Oh my gosh, and I'm on page 289, so I have 38 pages left. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm on at page 317, which means I have exactly 10 pages left, and I have no idea what's gonna happen. Which is crazy, I feel like at 10 pages, like we're at the epilogue, we're wrapping up, you know, but I don't know what's gonna happen. And I also don't know what I want to happen. There's a bit of a love triangle going on and my heart is so torn. <sighs> I finished the book and oh my gosh, I am sad because I wanna read book two ASAP. Like how am I supposed to start another book right now? It was so easy to go from reminders of him to this book. But now I'm like in the middle of a series and I thought things were gonna like wrap up more, but they didn't. Like it feels like we're in the middle of the story. Like it just ended right in the middle. Okay, well overall, I'm sure you can tell I loved the book. I used to hate love triangles and I think some books don't do them well, but then some books do them so well, like this book. I don't know what I want to read next, but I think I'm gonna go with him by Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. Like I said, it's a hockey romance. Oh my gosh. I thought I was only reading until two hours exactly, but we have two hours and 27 minutes today. So I have just exactly 30 minutes left. Okay, that's a good amount of time. I can get like a little ways into this book. Young and red is my design. Ugh, I'm on page 15 and I'm like still thinking about this election. Like it's like hard for me to get into this book because my mind is just still on the previous one. This is hard. All right, I have officially hit two hours and 27 minutes and I'm actually starting to get into the book now. It's about Jamie and Wes and they were childhood friends, but they had a falling out. We don't quite know why yet, but I have a guess. And they're both hockey players and now in present day, they play on different teams and their teams are about to play each other. I'm like already giddy for this book. It's like, I always have so much trouble finishing a book and then starting a new one, like to clear the last book from my mind. But as soon as I'm like 30 pages in, I'm like giddy for this book, I don't know. Anyway, it is late, so I'm gonna go to bed, but I'm actually really, really, really excited for tomorrow because I wanna read more of this book. Good morning, or should I say good afternoon because it is almost 2 p.m. I have been reading for 27 minutes so far and I am on page 49 and I really like the book so far. If you like the Off Campus series, then I think you would definitely like him because both are hockey romances and because they're both written by L. Kennedy and they have like a similar vibe and I definitely don't know for sure, but I think this book is gonna be spicy, I'm pretty sure. And I don't think I've read a spicy book in a while, so I'm kind of excited. I just finished page 100 and things just got interesting and I'm so excited because I really ship the two main characters and with that I think I'm gonna go sit by the pool and keep reading. So far the book is very spicy. I'm whispering because I'm in public at the pool so awkward to say out loud but yeah i'm also just over two hours in so we're about halfway done for today okay at the pool i read page 180 and so far like i said at the pool this book is really spicy which i don't mind spicy books at all but i was kind of starting to feel like their physical connection was way stronger than their emotional connection but then i'm glad at the bottom of page 180 we got to see more of their emotional connection grow and this chapter just ended really cute so now i'm like re-excited about them getting together and 
Okay, I just stopped the timer four hours and six minutes and I'm on page 223. So far, I do really like the book. I feel like there hasn't been much conflict in a while in the story. Like everything just seems like it's going really well. And I feel like I need more like gripping conflict to like put me on the edge of my seat. But I'm gonna stop reading for today. I have no idea what book I'm gonna start tomorrow. Good morning and happy Friday. Today is the last day of swapping my screen time with reading time. So far this morning, I've read for 21 minutes. I'm on page 239, but I have a total of four hours and 37 minutes to read today. And some conflict has happened. I was talking about yesterday how like everything has been going too perfectly, but already in the first 20 minutes of reading today, there has been like a huge conflict. So I'm curious how this is gonna affect the plot and their relationship and what will happen next. I'm on page 277 and I'm officially one hour in and I think I will be finished with this book within the next hour, hopefully, but it's starting to get really good. I just finished the book. Oh, it ended so, so cute. We are an hour and 51 minutes in, so we have about two hours and 40 minutes left. So I'm gonna start a second book. Overall, I think I would say 3.75 stars. I feel like I've read so many books now that I'm not just doing half stars, I'm doing quarter stars. I feel like the book was like a little Wattpad-y, which I honestly don't mind. I just feel like it lacked a little bit of depth to me like at the beginning in the middle by the end i feel like they had a strong emotional relationship but for me they had like such a strong physical relationship for so long and i was like missing that emotional aspect so i'm glad we got to that emotional aspect in like the middle end and overall it was also like a really really spicy book and i started like skipping the spicy scenes at one point because I just wanted more plot than spicy scenes, but that's just like my own personal opinion. But yeah, overall it was really cute. I always love books by Elle Kennedy and Serena Bowen and I'll definitely be reading more books by them. Okay, we are an hour and 52 minutes in, so just about two hours and 40 minutes left, which means we can get a decent amount of a way through a second book. I actually started reading this book in another video. I read the first chapter. So I'm already on page 22 and Dial A for Aunties would be a perfect next book to read because I've been reading so much romance in this video. And this is a mystery romance comedy, which just sounds so fun. Like somebody literally dies in this book. I'll read you guys the one sentence summary. What happens when you mix one accidental murder with 2000 wedding guests and then toss in a possible curse on three generations of an immigrant Chinese Indonesian family? You get four meddling Asian aunties coming to the rescue. Okay, I'm gonna pick up where I left off on chapter two. I just finished page 30 and Medi and Nathan are so cute. I wasn't sure how much romance there was gonna be in this book because there's also a literal whole entire murder that's gonna happen at some point, but I'm glad there's a good amount of romance. Oh my gosh, I just finished page 51 and the murder just happened. I'm surprised it happened so soon. I thought it was gonna happen way later in the book for some reason, but wow, I can definitely see how this book is gonna get crazy because I don't know what I would do if I was in this situation. Hello, it's a little bit later. I just took a shower and I finished my total reading for today. I ended up reading to page 129 and this book is so good. This book is crazy, but I love it. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, how are they gonna get themselves out of the situation? I have no idea. It's also really funny, which I love. Overall, I obviously have to finish the book before I give my final rating, but I think it's gonna be like a four star read. I feel like it's a book that's really perfect for everyone since it covers so many genres. But yeah, that is the end of Swap Oh my god, I just closed the book without putting my bookmark in. Anyway, that is the end of swapping my screen time for reading time. This was so fun to do and I would love to do it again. Please let me know in the comments what you guys are reading now because I'm always adding books to my TBR and let me know what your screen time is. I always think it's so interesting how much people's average screen time is. All right, and with that, I will say goodbye and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!